Bayard's law. What are the important features of Bayard's law? Features of Bayard Savard's law. What are the futures of Bayard Savard's law? The first future about Bayard Savard's law, then this Bayard Savard's law, experimentally we can verify it is a very difficult because for considering the small current element, for the small current element DL becomes to very difficult for the practically. So, due to considering the small current element practically it is a difficult due to to explain the Bayard Savard's law is a very difficult this is a you know, first important feature for the Bayard Savard's law. Then go for the another important feature for the Bayard Savard's law that is it is analogical by the or analogous by the Coulomb's inverse square law of an electrostatics that has uh, f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by r square. Similarly, the Bayard Savard's law is a magnetic induction dB is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into ideal sin theta is divided by r square. Here, the force of attraction F is inversely proportional to the r square. Here, the magnetic induction dB is inversely proportional to the r square. So, that this is analysis by the Coulomb's inverse square law for the electrostatics is an another important future for the Bayard Savard's law. Then third one, third future are important future by the Bayard Savard's law. If angle theta is equal to 90 degrees, that means current element DL and the point P are perpendicular to each other. When these both are perpendicular to each other, then we can substitute theta is a 90 degrees from the mathematical equation for the magnetic induction dB is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into ideal sin theta by r square. Therefore, theta is a 90 sin 90 is a 1. Then magnetic induction dB which is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into ideal by r square this is the this is the a maximum magnetic uh, induction it gives the maximum magnetic uh, induction then if angle between the current element and the point where we can calculate the magnetic induction these are perpendicular therefore then magnetic induction we can get as a maximum then another one is the Fourth important future here that fourth important future is uh, if theta is equal to 0 degrees. Theta is equal to 0 degrees, which means the point where we can calculate the magnetic induction it should be parallel to the current element uh, DL. When it should be parallel to the current element DL, therefore. Then what about the magnetic induction? Theta is equal to 0. Sin 0 is equal to 0. 0 into something becomes to the 0. Therefore, magnetic induction or the magnitude of a magnetic induction dB becomes to the 0. This is a very important future of Bayard Savard's law. Due to this, we can establish a great relation for the relative permeability means permittivity of a free space as well as a permeability of a free space. Then we multiply the 
permittivity of a free space epsilon naught and permeability of the free space is a mu naught that is equal to here i can multiply and divided by 4 pi 4 pi epsilon naught into mu naught by 4 pi here we are multiplying 4 pi and divided by 4 pi the value of a permittivity of a free space and the permeability of a free space cannot changes but we know the values of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught which is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 and then mu naught by 4 pi is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7. These values we can substitute here. Therefore, epsilon naught into mu naught which is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught value we can be, we can get 1 by 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into mu naught by 4 pi is a 10 to the power of minus 7. This is equal to 1 by 9 into 10 to the power of this a power minus n. We can take into the denominator a power n. So that 10 to the power of 9 plus 10 to the power of 7 becomes to the 10 to the power of 16. It is equal to 1 by 9 square root is a square is a 3. 3 into 10 to the power of 16 can be written as a 10 to the power of 8 whole square. This is the value for the speed of a light in a free space. That is a C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8. Then replace 3 into 10 to the power of 8 as a C. Then we can get as a C square. Therefore, therefore epsilon naught into mu naught is equal to 1 by c square. This is the permittivity of a free space to the permeability of a free space. Use the 1 by c square. From this, we can write the speed of a light c square is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into mu naught. Therefore, finally, the mathematical equation for the speed of a light c is equal to 1 by root over epsilon naught into mu naught. Finally, this is the mathematical equation for the speed of a light in terms of a permittivity of a free space and a permeability of the free space. Therefore, c is equal to 1 by root over epsilon naught into mu naught. Thank you.